That should get rid of that lot. You guys can all focus on that. Well, oh, no, focus on the army. Just get rid of them. Sweet. Very nice. Okay, so where are they in battle? There, all right. Look, I can probably I can probably swing that way. Let's get out of here. I'm gonna leave you guys over here though, you little like crabby thingies. We're gonna stop this shit from happening constantly over the spot. I should have enough flying guys to take this out, I hope. Yeah, that's all right. I think I'm gonna leave you here. I'll make some more like this. Here's some that I prepared earlier. Maybe I can bake some more and send them down. Get down here. Yeah. All that. Sweet. All right. So now, is there anything else I can upgrade? This thing looks like it's death. I want to make one of them. All right. Jesus Christ. Where is my people? That is not my people. This is my people. Is it? Yes. All right. And I don't even know what's what. When you choose, like, pink in this game, it's so fucking light-coloured. It's hard to see. Let's pop one more there. And that's basically done. So I guess let's let's see what's going on. Actually, I've been holding this up pretty solidly. So let's go and take this shit. This is my stuff now. You guys look like you need backup. Let's move over. I've been kind of holding that spot, but if they're gonna, if I'm gonna expand here, I want good real estate. Let's take a good portion of my workers, send them down. Hopefully they'll get built by the time they're ready to work. 14 to 16, I can send some extras. All right, you guys move out of the way. No, literally, finish that. Sweet, now work on that. So what is this thing? Purification Nova shoots out a ball of energy that lasts two seconds and eliminates powerful Nova dealing 145 splash damage and additional 55 shield damage uh, to nearby ground units and structures. And distributor is immobile while it's active. Okay. Look, let's go down here and see what this does. I don't want to touch it till it's over here. Uh, it should be about here. Uh, is it in the area? I don't know. Almost. Here it is. Look, move up a little bit more. Do the thing. I can't tell if it's doing a thing. What's it do? Is this doing its thing? Oh, I've got a target somewhere. Alright, hold up. What the fuck? That seems like a lot of work. Alright, let's go self-destroy you. You're very cool looking, but that's... I, I'm going to go down here and at least blow something up. Alright, Jesus, fuck. Let's get down here and blow something up. As for my spaceships, I guess I've got more lurking. Head over that way. I let go of the, the cool looking ship. Where'd it go? It's not down there yet. So I'm looking for a green dot that might be moving. That's not mine. That's not my stuff. Maybe you got caught up in this. Nope. I lost him. There he is. Nope. That's a fucking ally. That's a green ally. Fucking don't make me excited about nothing. Jesus Christ. This time's time. You just need to warm up. <laughs> Look, I did a right round two. It was every round after that. I should have just stopped at the second round. Yeah, no, I see you guys. Like I said, I dumbed this down to like pretty easy. I just wanted to play for a bit. Like, all the other matches have been, like, pretty fast. All right, Jesus Christ. You guys are, like, so keen for resources. All right, I'm, I'm sick of hearing this. Let's go do something about it. Red. You send up your little, like, peony thingies, these. We're going to stop about here. Let's get rid of... Let's get rid of them. Uh, I should be able to make a couple more. I think I am. Let's send you guys down here. I think I sent them to here before. I legit don't know where that interesting looking spacecraft went. It went somewhere, I'll say that much. Uh, you can come down here and make one of those. Look, one, two. You can go there and you can go on there. All right. Oh, what? That? All right, hold up. Let's fix that up. 
Let's fix this up for them first. Let's take care of our allies for a moment. Regroup and then go back and fuck everybody up. I wish it would highlight in which geyser is actually exhausted. Because it doesn't seem to do that anymore. Um, it only matters because I have so fucking many of them now. Bring over here. Alright, that should be all my people. I love that it does, like, double pages and stuff. Let's go say hello to Red. I believe they should be almost completely dead by this point. This should be their last, uh, like, base. So you spent the day running in 30 degree heat, like, full sunshine to deal with the documents for camp. Jesus Christ. It was, like, the absolute polar opposite here. It was freezing. It was so fucking cold. It just just now felt you cast your breath well at least you're getting a chance to like chill out finally I, I i mean that in like both senses at least like getting out of the sun and also like getting a chance to relax i found that i was actually expecting it to rain today because it was just so like cold and dark and it never did and the cloud cover was not making it warm either it was it was strangely cold it was a very, very weird day. Alright, I lost another geyser. I should be up here somewhere. Uh, it's not that one. It might actually be one of these. It's not that one. That one. Alright. Uh, yeah, slap that on there. It's probably too many. We are probing the enemy there goes that one. Ooh, they want to retire. No. Let's send you over here. You'll be near a mountain lake, so expected swimming days too. That sounds nice. I I wouldn't trust getting in a lake in Australia. If I can't see... If the water's not clear enough to see the bottom, there's no fucking way I'm getting in it. That's actually quite a, a standard thing across Australians. <laughs> like, we like to be able to see through our water. Um, but yeah. I, I'd love to be able to just go for a swim in summer. Like, if I want to go to a beach or whatever, I've got to travel a couple of hours one direction to get to a beach. To spend, like, what, maybe 20 minutes, an hour, hang out, get exhausted, and then exhaustedly drive home. Actually, last time I went to beach, last summer, um, I don't know what the fuck was either my sunscreen or whatever was in the water, but my eyes got splashed with, like, just a little bit of seawater. And they would not stop singing. I actually had to get Nick to drive for a couple of hours. And we had to, like, wait up somewhere in, like, a cafe. Because I literally couldn't, like... I couldn't flush whatever was wrong out of my eyes to open them properly. And the singing just did not stop. So I don't know what the fuck happened. So, so glad you... So glad Polish Lakes are dinosaur-free. Look, I'm not in the Northern Territory where crocodiles, like, literally fucking everywhere. But you do get, like, bull sharks and all sorts of stuff in, like, rivers, rivers and lakes and stuff. So they can do some serious damage if you get a big enough one. Like, they're not they're not big, big sharks, but they're, they're big enough to, like, rip out a calf if, if they really want to. Like, yeah, calf your leg or something. Yeah. Yeah, that was, that was one of those, like, sad times where, like, we, we were, like, pretty excited to go out there. It was actually a pretty fucking miserable beach day. Because, um... It started raining. Like, normally rain's not a problem, but it was actually, like, really fucking cold and windy that day. So the rain just made it really cold. Um, so usually, like, you rely on, like, the sun to kind of make you feel warm so the water feels refreshing. But in this case, we were already cold, so the cold water was, like, just colder. Um, and then all that extra sort of stuff happened. So the thing was, like, I did get to, like... I guess sit around an area for a while and just like chill out somewhere else for a bit. I guess that's a nice thing. It just wasn't down on the beach because like I was repeatedly like spraying my water bottle in my eyes trying to flush out whatever fucking Satan got in there. <laughs> um, yeah, no, it was, it was, it was a fucking day. Uh, I actually normally like trying to go to the beach around New Year's. I haven't gone for the last couple of times because I, I usually have some of my family, some of the good family, come and stay with me. Um, so we haven't really gone out to, like, any beach areas and stuff. 
this swarm is assaulting here. That's station occupied your eye. Look, that's that was a fact. Whatever the fuck was in my eye, like I don't know. Like I said, I don't know if it was the sunscreen. Like we did try a cheaper brand of sunscreen, um, just to give it a go. And so I'd never tried that sunscreen, and it only happened after I got the ocean water splash in my eye. So I don't know if it was the sunscreen or the water, but. I could not I could not get whatever the fuck irritant out for a good couple of hours. Like my eye just continually kept crying. Like that one eye just kept like weeping to try to like clear it. Um and it really didn't do its job. Didn't really get there. I'm gonna send one guy back to fuck that thing up. Should be enough. Destroy them. Let's get in here. Um Yeah. I don't know. I actually, like, I don't mind, like, going up into, like, the mountains and stuff like that when it's winter. That can be, like, a little bit warmer. But at the same time, Australia's really weird. Sometimes the mountains can just be a fuck ton colder in winter. It's like you go there for, like, the insulated warm mountain range and it's just fucking cold instead. And you're like, that's not what I came here for. But, like, a lot of, like... Uh, what do you call it, like mountainous range country sort of areas in Australia have got fireplaces. That's absolutely delightful. I love, um, I love like fucking normal fireplaces. It, like you can smell like wood burning and, and get like warmth from. They're awesome. If I could, if I had a fireplace in my own house, I would probably lay in front of it and fall asleep all the time like a fucking cat. Like obviously I'm not the only adult in the house. It's not that big of a problem, but um, I would definitely sleep in front of it like a cat. It's actually quite funny. Growing up, um, my family used to try to fight for the prime spot in front of the fireplace because we had one. And so one person would lay down, the person would, another person would lay behind that person, the next person would lay behind that one and just try to get the, the premium spot. And eventually whoever's the closest to it, it would be too hot. So then they'd have to move and then the person that's got the prime spot would get it. Um, but yeah, it was always hilarious. And then of course the cat would just take the next, next spot. So even if you got the good one, you still wouldn't get it. You love fireplaces too, but you're one of those people that gets targeted by the smoke no matter where you stand. I do too. So not so much from fireplaces, but, um, when people are like smoking or if there is a fire out in the wild somewhere, right? Um, wherever the breeze is supposed to be going, it is 100% going against the grain and instead going straight up into my lungs. And I don't understand it, but yeah, that has been my entire life growing up is no matter where I stand, smoke finds me. It's like a tracking beacon type situation. I'm just going to send one of these guys out to each place because there's got to be, there is a yellow there. There's got to be somebody at one of these and I'm not finding it. All right, I'll leave one of you guys here. There has to be somebody. Ah, well, we found it eventually. Must have been that one little yellow guy. I like absolutely wiping everybody off the face of the earth. It's the best. All right, so that was a bit better. It's a little bit slower. I'll, um, oh, okay, I don't have to get out of the way. You guys can see it. It arches over the top of me. <laughs> All right, so I was doing okay. Um, pretty much everybody else behind me just kind of like spiked and went down except for my allies who just kind of like kept cruising about the level where they were. So yeah, that's not too bad. I don't want that map again. I'll probably have, if I'm lucky, I've got time for one more map either way, unless I die like super fast. Cause what I'm thinking is I know that, uh, Blizzard has to do their updates, their maintenance at one and it's like quarter past 12 now so i'll push it and see if i can get just an easy game let's see realities i want to do something that's maybe a little bit different interesting that's it uh since even though you're smoking uh was it only for company you still think you got addicted at some point because the tobacco smoke draws you in a bit um i had family that smoked I was a kid and they really genuinely tried not to smoke near us. And no matter what they did, it still found me. Like anywhere, anywhere I'd go to hide away from the smoke, 
Like I could literally be like upstairs in a different position in a car in a in a whole nother fucking building and the smoke would find me. So yeah. That's it. Just imagine a cartoon pie smell drawing you in so strong you float. Yeah, I don't get drawn in by it. I find it quite a sickening smell. But at the same time, like I I did have like that whole cartoonish thing where like the smoke would like waft around and find me. Same kind of thing. Um Melee, I want I wanna wanna like break up these teams a little bit, maybe into four twos. That's not necessarily a group of four. Whatever. This should be interesting enough. It should be maybe two individuals or maybe the grouped one with us. Either way, it should be pretty easy. I'm going to set it we're all medium. I think that's a handleable end game. Yellow for an ally. No. Can I have green? I actually would rather have fucking purple. Can I change you? Can I change you to something that already exists? Do I get other options? I already have light pink. You don't get light pink. What about red? You can have red. I'll make you purple. Purple and pink. There we go. Start the game. Woo. That that's what you don't understand. I really don't like the smell as well, but the smoke is nice. It could also be what you associate it with. Like it may have more of a calming or enjoyable nostalgic smell. If you um, experience like a lot of happiness around the time that um, you smelt the smoke. Like in my case, I had it for a great deal of my life. Like I had a few relatives that smoked and it was just a common thing. So, well, it was a really, really common thing back then. So I just, I just don't even really think about it. I just, as an adult, I'm not a fan of the smell. Um, but yeah, I don't know. At, at no point did it ever specifically smell like, I don't know, any level of like enticing, I guess. I'm not really sure how to say it. <laughs> you've been pavloved. Yeah. Basically, you've been conditioned. You've been conditioned to enjoy it. I forgot to look at what my enemies were. Uh, they're probably up here. Well, Judged by that going up there. Familiar Terran designs. All right, yeah, that sounds like where they are. Okay, look, as soon as I can slap this down, I'll get it. Um, get this building. Get two of these in here if I can fit it, and one of those over there. And we'll work on getting some of the stalkers out early, earlier. Um, I'm still going to need... I'm still going to need somebody to make a cybernetics core pretty early. So give me one of you guys. And make one of these over here. Yeah, the only reason why I could think of that is I knew somebody that had the opposite effect of you with the um, cigarette smoke. I knew somebody that experiences um, like a, uh, almost like a PTSD, like anxiety shutdown when they smell it. And uh, they said it's like a trigger. That's why I kind of thought maybe it's the same thing, but you've experienced like a lot of positivity around it. Because the same kind of thing like I get with um, potato and leek soup. I, that really reminds me of like a nice peaceful winter because I used to sit around playing um, World of Warcraft and watching anime for hours after work. And I'd have like a potato and leek soup late in the night before I wanted to go to bed back before my Crohn's was really active and um, I'd really enjoy that. So whenever I smell it, it makes me happy. Um, that's that's all I sort of think about. What are you doing, mate? Look, I'll make one of you. Can we just chrono boost this? I'll make two because I'll probably be able to get two out in that time frame. Oh, if I can even make the building. Let's make a second one of these. Oh, you're distracted. Sweet. Yeah, just casually shoot a little bit of everything, and that way I don't have to worry. <laughs> there we go. Sweet. Look, we're gonna have cybernetics core. We're gonna have the big guy out soon. We're gonna have fucking stalkers. There we go. I get one more. Oh, jeez. Kill him. Look, if you can help. If you can just help a little bit. It distracted him. I can just get this out. Come on, chrono boost it. It's working. Come back. Come back. What the fuck? I just saw something go flying past me. I'm like, what the hell? Alright, let's see if we can kill you. Yeah, that guy was pretty much dead. This guy's not quite as dead. 
Let's sap you there and let's see if we can get a couple of extra stalkers out. Slap that up. Um, you're not one for soups, never felt like eating a meal. Um, if I eat a soup, but potato and leek soup, I've eaten it and like to try it at least. Um, so the one that I eat used to be in a can and now it's a packet. It's like Heinz potato and leek soup, I think. Um, it's quite nice. Oh, at least I think it's nice. Um, I'm not a big soup eater either. I actually quite hate soup. If I'm sick is really the only time I generally eat it, except for occasionally in winter. There's also a mushroom soup I really like as well. Um, but again, I'm not a big soup eater, so I have to really want to eat it. Um, I, I actually know quite a lot of people that hate uh, soup. Like, literally would prefer not to. No, not not wild mushrooms, just like these are all store-bought stuff. Like I don't I never did a lot of like creative cooking and stuff. Um so yeah, for me it's literally just like what you get at a shop. Again, that one would be like a Heinz brand as well. Um I'll have to I'll have to see if I can find them and link them in Discord later. Um if if somebody can just prompt me when I get into Discord after stream to just um post the soups, I'll look them up. As an anime, have I watched Bleach? Yes, I've watched Bleach, not the new Bleach. I've watched the old one. Uh, my partner is a mega Bleach fan, so um, part of loving him is understanding and loving Bleach. Um, oh, good job. That's, what, a two-day streak, I think? Way to go. Um, you should definitely keep up that streak of brushing your teeth. Like, let me know, like, whenever you can, like, make a stream and stuff that you've done that if you've done it or that you're doing it. But yeah, Bleach, um, he's, my partner's read the manga, watched the show, all the things, you know. Um, yeah. Yeah, it's, like, I'm, I'm glad that you guys, like, also, like, support Awa as well. Awa. Um, because that's, yeah, any small step to taking care of yourself each day is, is super amazing. Um, but I'm not the hugest fan of Bleach. I don't mind it. I've watched it. I definitely don't get into it in the way that like my partner resonates with it. Um, I'm trying to think of what else I used to watch and read it in and around that time. Cause like, I'm pretty sure there was something else. Like I think when Bleach was out, it was competing with Naruto and I was pretty much into Naruto. Um, I don't remember what else was around at the time. I've got some really fucking obscure things. Like, I like anything from, like, card captors to psychopaths. Um, it's, it's all over the shop. It really depends on what it is. I'm also very picky about art style as well. Like, that's one thing I'm not a big fan of. Uh, One Piece, it's the art style that loses me. Yeah, fairy, ta fairy tale. So I'm also, like, pretty huge fan of fairy tale. Um, I, I've literally got like a keychain on my phone for fairy tale, and I had like ringtones and stuff like that for ages for that. Um, take that expansion. You guys are moving around over there. I haven't finished it. I want to. It's just that I'm. Where the fuck am I in it? I know that they came back. They went through time. They came back and stuff, and it had. I had caught up to where it was airing at the time live. And there was no more episodes and there was a big hiatus and I stopped and then it a few years passed without me realizing and now there's so much to catch up with and I have to go back and I'm the kind of person I have to go back and start from the very first episode and watch every single one from start to finish again no skipping all all fillers everything right that's the kind of anime watcher that I am so if I'm gonna sit down and finish fairy tale or finish Naruto I'm gonna fucking be watching every fucking episode from get go and they're gonna be in Japanese with subtitles as well so um that's that's an extra effort to find never quite never quite got around to watching fairy tale couldn't get what's special about it mm, I definitely find that if every anime the first two seasons of any anime is generally shit just FYI um I normally can feel something about an anime if I like it or not if I'm going to watch it like there's some stuff out there that literally the first two seasons are absolute vomit and I just look at it and I'm like this is shit but there's something that has me like there's something that's 
keeping me wanting to see more. And normally those kind of shows transform over time and become so fucking amazing in their own right that I am so glad that I just stuck it out because I could tell something was there. And other shows, like, I just get nothing from the get-go and I try and I push and I watch the whole thing and I just I just feel like that was sad that I spent the time doing that. I am here um, thank you. Uh, also, there's a lot of shows that I've watched that unfortunately have, like, fucking impossibly sad endings and shit that I'm just not prepared for when you're watching it because a lot of the time, like, animes are kind of like, oh, yeah, at no point in any given time is, like, a main character ever going to die or genuinely stay dead. And when that happens, it's kind of a shock to your system if you're not used to um, a variety of stuff. Like, I've seen quite a, quite a fucking variety of kind of shows, so I'm always... When somebody actually dies in an anime, I'm like, oh, God, this could be it. That could be that character gone forever. What the fuck was that? This guy just literally just spat out this troop. It was horrifying. Um, I think he was cloning him, actually. This guy also looks sus. I bet you, I bet you're not even a, I bet you're not even an ally. I bet you're a sus soldier. Are you a sus soldier? Because you look like I'm about to attack you. Yeah, let's watch, let's watch this sus bloke here. Don't you run away. See? Sus. Fucking Susparella right there. Alright, let's move down here. Two of us are doing pretty good. I might move out to the next one. Um, it's a lot harder to um, make a good happy ending. A un uh, good unhappy ending. True. So some of the most skilled storytellers are ones that can take, take a story and complete it with a ending that's satisfyingly sad or you know completing uh whatever you want to fucking call it where you feel like yes that is how it ended um and you're happy with it even if it was sad or not not at all how you kind of like expect it to be i think those are the the really like gem storytellers don't get me wrong though, I do love like the light and fluffy stuff that makes absolutely no fucking sense. Um, like Nichijo, uh, which is basically like an ordinary uh, schoolgirl's life, um, which makes no fucking sense. Like the principal literally like superplexes a deer in some kind of like wrestling thing um, while everybody's taking a test. Like it makes zero sense, but it's a great show. Um, I'll have to fucking find that and link that. Uh, yeah. So, like, my taste in anime fucking varies all over the place. There's some stuff out there, though, that looks really pretty and is unfortunately as bland as fucking cardboard. And I sit there and I'm like, this had supreme potential to be the greatest top-running show. And the only reason why I feel like it's airing is because it looked pretty and eye-catching. And that's what got it out there. But it's not good. You know, um, yeah, Nichijo is good in this fact that it's weird. It's it's one of those ones. It's not necessarily a good anime. It's just it's a good weird anime. There's one better than that too. Um, I'll need to find. It's even fucking weirder. I might. I'll have to remember. It. I'll have to link that one. I can't even remember what it's called, but I almost used it because it's like really weird. You got things like Lucky Star and stuff like that that's also like um like mindless as well, but it gets it gets better. They gets like a storyline a bit later and stuff. Um and I just enjoy the characters and stuff. Uh you're a sucker for happy endings. Uh you did see a few bad endings, but they were all bittersweet, so not fully unhappy. Look, I've had a couple of animes that have literally left me um emotionally shocked as if our loved ones died and they are ones that i will personally never recommend out to anybody even if they are really amazing animes because i would not want to put that kind of emotional assault on somebody that's not prepared to deal with something like that um so you only watch clips but that dear principal scene is imprinted in my mind look there's a lot in there there's like a few animes out there too, by the way, that are like this. They have nothing in them, but there's a couple of select moments like um, 
what is it? The unluckiest girl or something like that. There's an anime, something like that. There's not much content to that show, but there is one scene where the girl's trying not to be 